Hey guys, and welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. We are out in the woods clearing trees out yet again. workers have been busy clearing trees out that have fallen over uh, he needed some firewood so Eric's been helping him out with the dump truck and they've taken care of a lot of it um, this one however <laughs> is a is a doozy hey this is covered in turkey tail <laughs> confused what happened to hay baling we are still going to bring you the hay baling equipment demo video it's just not going to be happening until this next weekend the first weekend of march because it's going to take a lot of editing to get all the footage knocked down into something you guys are really going to appreciate in the meantime this is actual live footage from this weekend that actually happened so i thought it'd be kind of cool that you guys can see what's happening live right now on the farm the last thing, the last reason why I'm bringing this to you is because Eric decided that we are going to be doing maple syrup this year. We are not doing our full professional setup. We are going to use buckets, just 15 or 20 taps, and we're going to be doing one cook. That is it because everything's going to be outside. We don't want to risk our equipment getting damaged by the elements. So we're going to do one and done. Can we do it? it's gonna be exciting so stay tuned for those maple syrup videos coming up in I don't know when <laughs> let's get back to knocking the wood out of the woods because we're gonna need that wood to cook down our syrup later you want me to take the logs and put them in the dump truck yeah. okay Your chainsaw or my chainsaw? Mine. Oh. Well, it was my dad's. 
Is that I the quick? You said it's yours. Cause you said, "Oh, look, honey, you can have a chainsaw now. <laughs> this one will be easy for you." I let you use it. Ah, oh, you let me use your other one. You can use my other one. What's mine is yours. What's yours is mine. I oh, thought it comes to cars and trucks. <laughs> then everything's Eric's. <laughs> Didn't you put a new chain on that? Yep. And the other one. Oh, this is my second load for today. So how come you're using that chainsaw over the other one? It works good on small stuff. Huh. It's a lot lighter. Yeah, I thought that's why you wanted me to use it. That's old guys. Old man chainsaw? Old man chainsaw. Looks like, yeah, you missed a couple of times up here. Some fresh biffs up there. That truck, man, that's a chick magnet. You drive this freaking dumper around and the girls are just swarming for it. They're like, oh, this must be a real man to drive something like that, not some candy truck. <laughs> So this is part of our trail that connects all the way around and um, that's actually the back edge of our property right there um, This isn't the property line right here. It actually extends out that way about twice as far out And we don't even go out in that area very much because it's mostly swamp and uh, just trash <laughs> But eventually it'd be nice to have some pathways back there too just like this one uh, this was an old logging path. You can see by the size of the trees that everything had pretty much been logged off like 50 years ago. If I pull it down, can you trim it with the saw? <sighs> or do you want me to pull it down while you trim it? That one or the other one? I thought the other one was a bigger issue than that one. Well, what if you just back up the truck and then climb up there and trim it while I hold this down? Good idea. Good idea. I might not feel safe with the chainsaw, but I feel good with good ideas. Try. Let's go with this one. Come on. And do the first one. All right, I got his head. You got it. I got it. So this is one of the last days that we can get this done today and tomorrow because after this, it's gonna warm up. Um, even right now, the sun is gonna be melting some stuff, but we won't be able to get the tractor. Okay, our specialty dump truck will not be able to get back here. The tractor will for a little bit, but we don't wanna drive it on mushy roads because that'll tear them up. All right, now we got the next one. <sighs> I guess it's better to have too much wood than not enough because, like I said, we won't be able to get back here for quite a time. Ooh, that's a solid one. Oh, she's kind of, it to the ground. What kind of tree is this? It's like another oak. Maybe red oak. I got your cutting helmet. Why do you have my cutting helmet? Well, then you're gonna make it too big for my head. Yeah, I can put them in there. Yeah, it's definitely getting use for cutting, even though I've been using it for table sawing. All right, so these are actually very, very common. They grow pretty much everywhere. But when you see them, it's always good to collect them. Turkey tail. They're good for respiratory issues. Um, 
there's no side effects to them. So you can drink as much as you want. I know it. They grow very prolifically. What do you use those for? Respiratory issues. I'm not gonna get all of them. Good gravy. If this is water, then where's the road? All right, Holt, Holt. Well, it's gonna be interesting to see what spring brings and how this area looks in springtime. I see it moving. I don't know if you're gonna turn it though. You might, yeah, I was gonna say, you probably gotta cut that because it's attached to something down there. Is that still attached down there? Oh, here, let me move your saw. This thing's gonna... <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> this... You only got one of those things. Oh yeah, I might be able to grab that. I can push that thing well, over there. Need more weight. More weight. surprised to see Aaron operating the wood splitter. I mean, he is almost nine years old. 
But what's more surprising is that he's actually been operating the wood splitter since he was five. While it has been three years since we've done some maple syrup, um, the first year we bought it, he was a pro operating the wood splitter back and forth at the tender age of five years old. Now, this wood splitter we actually bought at Tractor Supply. Um, I, I don't remember the brand, and you can see it in the video a little bit later. I, this one is actually very child friendly. I highly recommend it. Um, the piston ram, you have to be holding it back for it to operate. So if he stops pushing that piston, it's not going to go forward. So that means it's very, very hard to actually pinch your hand in this thing. Um, you really have to be doing a lot of things wrong to do that. Um, so it's just one of those things that I really like. Some of them, you push the handle forward and it keeps going until you push the handle backwards. This one, it just stops. So, um, oh, down he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give him credit. I mean, the, the poor kid got up first thing this morning and uh, went right to work. No breakfast, no nothing. 